race to find a suitable vaccine for COVID-19 continues. More than 1,500 Canadians have pre-volunteered to be deliberately infected with the virus as part of a human challenge trial, including Kelowna's Connor Barnes. Barnes says the One Day Sooner group are now advocating for the government to greenlight the trial so it can move ahead for the testing of promising vaccines and treatments, as well as the opportunity to learn more about how this virus works. So it's in different points in different countries. Like in the UK, it seems like they are going to do challenge trials to for the Oxford vaccine that's going on. The US hasn't gone so far in Canada. We haven't really heard much yet. There's like been a bit of movement lately, but we want to push to see more on that front. There's a lot of preparation that we need to go on, such as like creating like a, a dose that's safe, like the right amounts, because if it's too much, it will just overwhelm. And if it's not enough, then maybe you won't get infected. So they're developing the the idea is right now they should be developing the right amount. Barnes says although he's a little nervous about taking part in the trial, he believes it will be completely worth it for the benefits that it could bring. Well, I figured I'm young, I'm like 27, I'm healthy. This is something where I could contribute at not honestly not that high of a risk to myself. So that was part of it thinking there is, there is a risk to myself, but it's so small compared to the potential benefits. If we can think of anything like challenge trials or anything else to speed this up, even by a day or a week, that saves so many lives and so much like suffering and money for everybody. So I think it's really imperative that we try experimental things like this that are still scientific, but are a little outside the box. He hasn't yet been given an exact timeline on when the trial might happen, as all of that will be worked out in due course. Forecasting News in Kelowna, I'm Laura Brooks.